Okay, so this is the flavour we're going to tell you. Uh, it's a relatively simple Sunray variant. It's called uh, Peterson's Red Sunray. So, first off, we're going to put in about an inch of a hard plastic tubing into the holder. And then I'm going to place in a needle just to give it a little bit of support. Now as you can see there's no body to this fly, it's just tied on a plain hard plastic tube. So the black thread and I've put a little bit of super glue onto about an inch or so of thread. Now for the underwing on that we're going to use this which is a dyed red polar bear. I'm going to take out a little bunch of that and just pull out the shortest of the fluff. The polar bear is quite a stiff fibre but it's also translucent. So a lot of people like it as underwings because uh, it gives a little bit of support to the main wing and transmits a bit of light through itself. So I just add a little bit of super glue just into the uh, butt ends of, of our bunch there. And then I'm going to take a, a red crystal here and take a strand of that and lay that top of the wing here to extend slightly beyond our underwing and double it back on itself. Next portion on this I'm going to use this which is a dyed red uh, Icelandic sheep hair. I'm going to take a bunch of that and strip out I'm just going to realign it a bit to get a bit of a taper into it and measure that up. Just a bit more taper. this wing and maybe a little bit beyond. The idea with these building up successive wings is to get a progressive taper. So we'll snip that bit off there. Okay, now the top pair portion on this is a uh, black goat. So I'm just going to snip that up. Now this fly has to be 80 mil long. So I'm just going to measure my hair for length and cut it off. And as before, a little bit of glue just into the cut end. I set it up on top. Mm. 
pay that. strands of peacock hurl from each side of an eye. It's two from one side. I'm going to set them on but not go the full length of the wing so that the wing itself supports the peacock hurl. And the same on the other side. Set them on. Pull them for length so that they match up and match them up to be on top of the wing. And that essentially is the flay tied, so it just remains to do the head. So I'm just gluing my tying thread there. tapered wing, black over red, and we'll just take the super glue and varnish the head with it with our dubbing needle. Just all the way around using the rotation function of the vise. Dries. Tomorrow I will give it a coating of nice clear varnish to finish it. There we have the Peterson red and black sunray.